<laughs> you know, it's tea straight from the lush grounds of Kericho. Right. It's so fresh. It's beautiful. It's so wonderful and calm and cool out here. Yeah. And we find ourselves in this episode in the beautiful county of Kericho. And Kericho is known for lush tea farms. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the people who live here and in adjacent counties mm -hmm. are people who will work on the tea farms, yes. a lot of farmers, they've mm -hmm. got cows, you know, yes. there's dairy farming. Mm -hmm. And many of the parents, the people who live here are parents. Mm -hmm. They've got children that they're educating, maybe from picking tea in the farms, from exactly. taking care of the animals. Mm -hmm. And we're here because of an initiative that deals with parents, yes. courtesy of Fine Urban, and that is Jengea Wazazi na Fine Urban. Yes, and that's why you see us coming to deepest parts of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Today we're so blessed to be in Kericho. The air is so fresh around here, and we realize that this is the bread and butter for yeah. a lot of people. Yes. So potentially even the project that we're working on, yeah. the parents were probably able to take their child to the diaspora because of because uh, of what they were doing maybe on the farm on yeah. the land mm -hmm. and giving back to your parents has never been better i am so happy that you get to be here with us and join us so let's head over to the site and show everyone exactly what we're doing i can't wait to see so come on let's go So this is the house mm -hmm. and there's a lot of work that we're doing. I can see, look at it. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, there's so much going on. And obviously you can tell like this compound is not empty. Yeah. And it's one of those projects I think I mentioned before. It's one of those projects where we're working around the client, making sure they can still use their compound as we go on with our work. Right. Yeah. Now, I do know that this is also part of the new initiative, mm -hmm. which is Jengea Wazazi with Fine Urban. Yes. And so mm -hmm. this must be the first house. This is what was there before. Yes. Mm -hmm. and and somebody has just decided, my mom, my dad, yes. they need an upgrade. Exactly. And so they'll be moving from that mm -hmm. to ta -da! To this huge house. So I am ready to just go in and let's start this tour. All right. If you want to do something for your parents, you want to jengea, wazazi, come see why you need to work with Fine Urban to make it happen. This is really, really quite something. You know, mm -hmm. being around a construction site, there's so much activity going on, there's so much noise, but yeah. when you think about sacrificing for just a few months mm -hmm. so that you can move into your dream home, mm. it's well worth it. Yes, and the convenience of actually being here and being able to pop in and just mm -hmm. see the progress. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want to be able to do that? And it's great. And you know, when your mom's somewhere close, mm. she's always checking out and letting you know what's going on. Yeah. So you're always also put up to date with what's happening with your construction. A hundred percent. Right. And you know, what I also feel like gives them a lot of joy is the fact that when we first came in, we'd not just work with the structure and yeah. ignore all the mistakes. So right. I want us to go in okay. and maybe I can point out some of those things that we had to fix as a company. So this is walking in to your home. Yes, this is the living room. Right. And right as you enter, you can already tell this house really needed a lot of help in terms of creating bigger windows, creating more straight entrances. So you can see we've hacked away around all these All openings. the windows right yeah. here. I'm also looking at the area around the house yes. and the views are incredible. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of lush tea farms yes. right outside and the big windows mm -hmm just allow for you to be able to take all that in when you're sitting in here. Exactly. And so having big windows was definitely a good move. I see a fireplace as well. Yes. Which is beautiful for the area. 
It does get cool at night here. Yes. And a nice, cozy fireplace mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. definitely a good thing. Yeah. And what you might not be able to see, because, you know, we have like the before footage of what this house looked like. Yeah. But every single wall that you're looking at right now has been touched. So every single inch of the walls, we had to come in and hack away <laughs> at, the, at the structure as it was because the walls were just not well done at all. And there's no way that you can do easy work by just putting plaster over bad work mm -hmm. because it's just going to be bad work on top of bad work. Right. So, 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 so right. Mm -hmm. I shudder to think about the costs incurred so far simply based on corrections. Yes. And that's money that could have gone into other things maybe around the project. Yes. But here we are correcting we are. mistakes. That yeah. didn't have to be there in the first place. Yeah, it's really heartbreaking because when you think about it, we've mentioned that this is a child in the diaspora who wants to do something for their family. I'm sure when they started out, they were so yes, they can yeah. do so positive, and they probably did their research. They right. probably felt like they were talking to the right people. Yeah. But you know, as many of us here, you can trust some people and they can give you the greatest spiel of your life. I know, they'll and, sell you anything. Yeah, but then once it comes to actually executing the work, mm -hmm. that's when you discover like, you know, it was all talk. Right, yeah. and as somebody who lives in the diaspora, you know when you get a phone call, from home and say, and, and you'd be told, please send more money, please send more money. It can be very frustrating. Yes. Just because you live out there doesn't mean money is flowing like water. Mm. It means you've probably got to pick up an extra shift. Yeah. Maybe you've got to let go of something that you wanted to buy for yourself mm -hmm. at the time. Maybe even sell off something else mm -hmm. so you can send the money here. So yeah. as somebody in the diaspora, mm -hmm. yes, you'll do your research. Yes, yes. you'll do your homework. Mm -hmm. But make sure in doing your research and your homework, mm -hmm. Fine Urban is at the top of that list. Yeah. So you save yourself going yeah. back and forth and mm -hmm. back and forth. And I would say that the thing that we pride ourselves on is sometimes we can, we can tell you what we do, but the reason we do these videos is mm -hmm. to showcase. Like, if you don't believe what we're saying, look at what we're doing. Right. And, you know, that's I think that's the best way you can go about finding someone who's going to do quality work from mm -hmm. the ground up. Mm -hmm. uh, agreed. Completely agreed. Yeah. From the living room, where yeah. do we go to next? Now, we're going into the dining room. Nice. Yeah. So even here, even this entrance, you can see this, this has been hacking. Of course, these areas are still left like that mm. because we have to deal with the main walls first. And then now once we make sure that the sizes are as we want them, yeah. we'll now go in and pass that and set it in place. All right, all right. I like the windows. Is there more work going to be done here or this is it? Yes, obviously we're still in the process of replastering these walls. Right. So obviously we want to smooth out everything once we've made sure that things are now in a sound state. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's what you can see here. This is the newer work that you can see is it's still a bit wet mm -hmm. and then you can see the other walls that have dried up. Okay. Yeah. This moves into the kitchen area. It opens up to the kitchen area. Yes, but right. that's not how it was before. Oh, I think there's a very traditional way that some people think they should build their homes. And sometimes it involves just having solid walls everywhere. So this was a wall? Yes, so there was a wall. You can tell by the against the wall. Ah, but you there it to is. Take down. I can see that. Yeah. Yes. Now I see it. Oh my gosh, that's mm -hmm. so much work. Yeah. So much work. Work that wouldn't have been necessary, but since we want to make this very livable and a very pleasant space and easy to navigate, the best idea was taking down that wall and now we have a much bigger space that mm. feels much more airy and has so much more light flowing throughout. Right. Yes. When you've got a bigger space to work with, there's mm. no point in compartmentalizing too much. Yes. Let everything just sort of flow seamlessly. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. And now that's why we're able to really freely move through the space. Yeah. We're now in the kitchen area mm -hmm. and you can see there's now much more room in terms of getting creative with what you're going to do yeah. with decorating and adding in that cabinetry and putting all your amenities. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm not going to ignore this huge, huge window. <laughs> huge, yeah. huge window. Yeah. I see that this is probably where the sink is going to be. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you get to have a, a nice view of the outside. <laughs> of course, you can see a bit of the tea farm out there. Yeah. So doing the dishes won't be so bad. Yes. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. What spaces do we have back here? Of course, with every kitchen, I feel like 
right now you have to have a pantry there's a time where we like no just the cabinets in the kitchen will be enough but we've come to understand that having an allocated space for everything especially in these areas mm -hmm. you would want to have a pantry where you can put in all your extra food so from the kitchen it just makes sense to go ahead and also have a pantry okay yes there's an exit here. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's an exit or an entrance, but mm -hmm. it leads somewhere. Where do we end up? So as we head out of the kitchen, you yeah. now are you know in the landing of the stairs, but then when you look over, you see directly into the, the living, living room. room. So from here, I'd love to show you the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, we currently cannot use the staircase. It's obviously being used to do some corrections of that. Right. So we didn't want to have to take all this down only to have them put it back up. Oh, don't worry, this is as terrifying for me as it probably is for you. Whew. Here goes everything. My goodness. You made it. Oh. Need help? Uh, nope, nope. You're good? I'm doing good. Doing good. I wasn't quite ready for that. What a rush. But here we are. Yeah, we made it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So where we're standing right now is where you would land after the steps. Downstairs, exactly. Yeah. Right. So as you're coming up, this is, mm -hmm. you know, an area that you'd, you know, be passing as you're heading up on up. Which gets me thinking something special is probably gonna happen here. Yes. Because if you're downstairs and mm -hmm. you know <laughs> Spaces like these mm -hmm. can get very dark. Yes. I'm thinking there must be a nice mirror feature or window feature or something. Yes. And let's light come in. Yeah. Happen here. I think there's a theme that you may have noticed in the projects that we do. Yeah. We really care about people getting to enjoy the environment yes. around them. Yes. And there's so many beautiful things to see all the way across. Yes. Wow. It's it's just magnificent, it's glorious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. would you want to hide that? Why? You wouldn't. No. <laughs> so we're gonna head on up. Up we go. Yeah. And then here, you can see why we couldn't use those boards mm -hmm. because this is what they actually use to show, do all the corrections to this wall, right. so that we can keep the work moving. Mm. Yeah, so this is where all the bedrooms are right and not all the rooms in this house are the same size so of course with that comes with different challenges and yeah. different things to correct so we're going to take a look at this, a few of them and then see what we've done for each room okay so this is the first bedroom yes stay tuned stay tuned so into the first bedroom we go yes huge window mm -hmm. which is brilliant again looking out into that view it's just incredible and the fact that they're so huge yeah there's a lot of light that's streaming in from yes. here it's mm -hmm. fantastic it's fantastic and here we have yet another bathroom right and the most interesting thing for this that i found is i was in here with a, a lead designer yes and he was talking about the layout you know with a space this small the layout is very important mm -hmm. i'm sure you've experienced or seen photos on the internet where they put a sink somewhere or the toilet bowl somewhere where the door you can't even just, open the door it, it, it's a choice do you open yeah. the door or do you not use the bathroom uh, yeah exactly terrible design so, yeah so with a space like this mm -hmm. you really have to have someone who's so keen and it's like I want to make sure you have everything you need, but I want to make sure that you could actually use the space. Yeah. So when you see that we've curved out these little areas, yeah. you just know that that's the mapping of where the amenities will go. Right. So in this bathroom, we'll have a shower, shower, we'll have the sink, mm. we'll have a toilet bowl, and I guarantee you that there'll be enough light in this space, not only thanks to the window, yeah. but also the artificial light that will be here once everything comes together. Okay. And of course, incredible tiles. Always. Always. <laughs> Signature thing to look out for with Fine Urban mm -hmm. is the tile work. This would be the room I would choose. If I it's there. definitely a bit bigger than the other one. Yes. Not only do we have another great big window, yeah. we also have a balcony. Oh. We have a walk-in section. We have a bathroom. I want to go. I want to go to the balcony. <laughs> Let's go see what we'll see. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, it's so lush, and of course, when you see these columns, I think you've noticed even in the front of the house yep. we had them. The like theme this. continues. Yeah. Right. And if you know anything about fine urban construction and interiors, you know this presents such a huge opportunity yeah. to just add another very aesthetically pleasing 
back to the house. Mm -hmm. So I cannot wait to see what the guys who do the molding come and do for these because I know it's going to completely transform what the house looks like. So initially this wasn't even here either. No, they were, but you, I think this is the best place you can see of what we've done in terms of hacking. So we'll come in and replaster and then do the molding. I love the balcony area. Yes. Um, I'm wondering how small the bathroom is for this bedroom. Yeah, all of them kind of had the same problem. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you can see that for this room, we were able to allocate space to yeah. have a walk-in. It just means that it had much more room than the one we've seen. Than the one, okay. Yeah, but with every bathroom, of course, you also want things to look similar yeah. in terms of when Symmetry. you're walking yeah mm -hmm. and when you're walking throughout the entire house whether it be on the inside and the outside you have to think all these windows play a huge like a huge role in what the exterior of the house actually looks like yeah we've seen two bedrooms yeah um looks like the space right here for another one mm -hmm. which i think is more or less like what we've just seen yes but where are we now now we are in the master bedroom oh yes I love the feel. It feels so free and yeah. open. Yeah. The ceilings are high. Is that just, they are too? Yes. And then the windows, there's a lot more light in this bedroom. I think mm -hmm. this is the bedroom that's got the most light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the bigger the size of the room, the more careful you have to be with the placement of windows. Yeah. Because either you're going to do them way too big to where it's not making sense. Why do you just have this one giant jack take <laughs> window in the middle of the room? Yeah. But the layout is very important because you have to figure out where's the headboard going to be. And True. this being the master bedroom, you have to imagine you're going big. Mm -hmm. You're not doing a small bed. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't exactly. wait this long mm. to get a teeny tiny bed. You've already exactly. done that, been there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you're placing the windows, you have to think about things like that. You have to make sure that there's enough light coming in and that you've given the people the option to open up their room, mm -hmm. to really just make it feel as open as possible. Yeah. Yeah. I love the layout. Mm -hmm. It's light, it's airy, it's bright as well. Mm -hmm. And it also opens out to a balcony space there. Yes. Which is just perfect. Yeah, that, this is where you also get to enjoy that view again. Oh, yeah. You thought we saw it. I on can't the stairs. get enough of it. I can't. And I, that's. I think that was the exact thought process when the designer decided, like, okay, even for the stairs, let's do that. Mm. Not only when you're standing outside, you'll be able to see the front of the house and be like, oh my god, it looks so symmetrical, it looks so pleasant. Yeah. But also when you're inside, you have multiple spaces mm -hmm. where you really do get to come outside and look at this view. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we should just call you fine, mm. urban, and rural, and <laughs> everywhere else. Yes. <laughs> Because even that's what we're trying we to do. To we right. can get to the moon. We can get to the moon. Yeah. Yeah, but that's exactly what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Enable people to be able to give back to their parents. Yeah. Because the number of projects you've seen us doing where people are like, we're so glad that we're able to find someone who's coming yeah. to us to do exactly what we don't have to sacrifice anything. We can do it True. as big as we want it. True. Yeah. True. Mm -hmm. So from the master bedroom, yeah. we walk into another huge area here. Yes. Is this another walk-in closet? Space? Yes, this is definitely a walk-in closet. Wow. And this one obviously is much bigger than the other one. This is the master bedroom. You have to make every space really feel special. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You, you're building a house for your parents to feel good. Mm. So you will pay key attention to their actual room. That's true. To make sure that if mom wants to have all her stuff, mm. she'll have a walk-in closet where we'll put on all the cabinetry. And I'm, I'm so sure that we'll go to the extent of understanding what kind of clothing items that the client has. Mm. Do you have longer dresses, shorter dresses? Mm. So when we're designing the cabinetry, we allocate the space for that. Yeah. Because the last thing you want is to create this fancy looking walk-in closet. Which can't store anything yeah. properly. Exactly. The things that you actually out use. Or it doesn't fit. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Super. And we're back where we started. Yes. I'd like to take a walk around and mm -hmm. see what's outside the house. So we can head around the house. Yeah. This is where we entered. Came in through the, here. Yeah, the main entrance. Right. So we can go around. Nice. Yeah. 
And here we are. Wow. I think this is where you can really get a good view of all the work that's going on. True. You can see exactly what we've done here. That's a new wall in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can see all the hacking away. Honestly, mm. it was necessary. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, Jengel Wazazi in a fine urban. Yeah. It doesn't get any better than this. Do something wonderful for your parents. Mm -hmm. You could be in the diaspora. Yes. You could be right here in Kenya because we also know there are many Kenyans mm -hmm. who live and work right here. Exactly. But would like to do something nice for their parents, but finding the time. Mm -hmm. You know, you can always think about something for your parents as a DIY project. Yeah. Nitafanya nikipata time. But mm. don't wait. Don't. What we've learned about life is mm -hmm. do it now. Do it when you can yes. and do it with all the professionals. Yes, and, mm -hmm. and do it with people who are passionate about it. Yeah. Because genuinely, fine urban construction and interiors is passionate and that's why we're making this such a vital part of the message that fine urban is trying to put out there. Yeah. We want to show people that we genuinely care about the people who live in this country, that luxury is not just for one or what to work on. Yeah, no. And yeah. again, we've got to remember that we are now living in a devolved country. Yes. County governments are doing the most. I mean, mm. just traveling with you, mm -hmm. I'm seeing such great road coverage. Yes. Counties are opening up. Rural life won't always be what we've thought it to be. Exactly. Things are changing. So be a part of that change. Yes. Right from the bottom, <laughs> coming all the way to the top. Exactly. Yeah. So guys, if you do want to get in contact with, with us, we have multiple different ways. You can find us obviously here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Yes. You have to subscribe if you want to see how this project is going to turn out. And hopefully Sheila, you'll be here of with course. me again. Of course, I can't wait, I can't wait. I just love seeing this place. It's yeah. just beautiful. It's wonderful getting yeah. to come here and have the fresh air. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn on those notification bells so that you know every single time that we post a new video. We're also on all other social media platforms, all at Fine Urban Construction and Interiors. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those platforms so look for us and you can join us on this journey all right now <laughs> let's go get some tea i've been let's looking go. at tea fields all day yeah i'm ready for a cup of <laughs>